Hello everyone, I hope you are all having a great day. Uh, today we are going to be doing our very last lesson of the semester and we're going to be talking about application to systems. So here we're going to do some word problems where we're going to be solving systems. So for this first question it says you purchase a drink and a sandwich for $4.50. Your friend purchases a drink and five sandwiches for sixteen fifty. Write and solve a system of linear equations to find the price of a drink and the price of a sandwich. So when I'm doing word problems, especially for these application to systems, I like to first label what my x is going to be and what my y is going to be, because that's going to help me create my two equations. And I can find that in this last sentence. So it says I want to find the price of a drink and a sandwich. So I'm going to allow x to be my drink and y to be my sandwich. And so now I need to actually go and create my two equations. What I like to do first is look for totals because totals are going to show me what my equation is going to be if I look before or after it. And so I see for that first one, the first sentence says you purchase a drink and a sandwich for four fifty. So four fifty is a total. And so now I look, okay, what's adding up to be four fifty? Well, I purchased a drink, which is my x, and a sandwich, which I labeled as y. So the price of the drink plus the, tri the price of a sandwich equals four fifty. So I can write this as x plus y is equal to 450. Okay, now I'm going to look for my second total and I see in that next sentence it says your friend purchases a drink and five sandwiches for 1650. So I know I have 1650. Well what's adding up to be 1650? Well the friend purchased a drink which is my x and five sandwiches which is my y. So that means I'll have one drink plus five sandwiches. And now I have a system. And so now I'm going to go ahead and actually solve this. When it's written in standard form like this, what I normally lean to you is going ahead and using elimination to solve it. You don't have to. You could do substitution if you wanted to. It's whatever you feel more comfortable with. But I'm going to go ahead and solve this by elimination. And something that looks easy to do is my x's already have the same coefficient of a 1 in front. But now I just need to make them opposite. So to do that, I'm going to multiply this top equation by negative 1. And so now I have negative x minus y equals negative 450. And then x plus 5y equals 1650. And so now when I go ahead and add these, I see my x's cancel like I wanted them to. Negative y plus 5y, I get 4y. Negative 450 plus 1650, I get 12. And then when I divide both sides by 4, I get that y is equal to 3. And then now I want to go ahead and find my value of x. So if you recall, that means I'm going to take one of these equations. I'm going to go ahead and take this top one. And I'm going to substitute the value of y that I just found. So that's 3. So I have x plus y, which is 3, equals 450. And then I just need to subtract 3 from both sides. So I get the x is equal to 150. So I found my x value. I found my y value. So what do those mean? Well, x was the price of my drink. So x is 150, that means my drink costs $1.50. And then my sandwich was 3, so that costs $3. That is my answer. Okay, let's go ahead and look at this next one. So here it says you have a total of 18 math and science exercises for homework. You have six more math exercises than science exercises. How many exercises do you have in each subject? Okay, so 
I want to find how many x tries I have in each subject, so I'm just allow x to be my math and y to be my science. Now I'm going to look for some totals. So I see I have a total of 18 math and science exercises. So math, x is my math, y is my science. So that means when I add my math and science exercise together, I get 18. So that means I just have x plus y is equal to 18. Now this next sentence doesn't actually have a total, so we're going to write this one a little bit different. This one says you have six more math exercises than science exercises. So there's six more math problems than science ones. So x is my math. To make it equal to something, I need to add six to y because my math exercises, there's six more of them than science. And so now I have my two equations. And so looking at this, I see that probably the easiest way is going to be by substitution. That's because I already have a variable isolated right here. So I can go ahead and substitute in this in for x. And so when I do that, I get y plus 6 plus y is equal to 18. Okay, go ahead and pause the video. I want you to finish solving this, and then when you think you got it, you can go ahead and press play. Okay, so the answer you should have gotten that was that there were 12 math exercises and six science exercises. So when I solved for y here, I ended up getting six. To get my value for x, I just plugged in six for y, and I got 12. X stood for my math exercises, so math was 12, and then science is 6. Okay, that's it for this video. You can go ahead and move on to the next one where we'll look at some more examples.